Hi everyone, my name is Ravi Prakash and this is the 12th class of factors and we are in number system part 2. Okay, so in how many ways we can write 20 is 8 as sum of 2 coprime? This is the question we just start with, right? In how many ways we can write 28 as sum of 2 coprimes, right? So I hope you have watched factors 11, that is the previous video of factors uh, before this because we'll be using this Euler number concept here. Okay, so in how many ways we can write 28 as sum of 2 coprimes? Right. See, uh, let me write for it first all the uh, numbers before 28 as a sum of sum, uh, as the coprime number. Right. All the coprime numbers before 28. Let me write it, and then we can uh, discuss the concept. Right. It's very easy question. This kind of even if it is in place of 28, some big number like thousand or twelve hundred is there. Right. We can do it very easily. Right. Let's get this concept. So first, what I'm doing, I'm just writing 28 as uh, sorry, uh, 28, all the uh, co-primes uh, before 28, I'm writing it, right? So, like, for example, 1, 3, 3 is co-prime at 28, 5, then 9, then 11, then 13, then 15, then 17, then 19, then 23, then 25, then 27, right? So, this is like 4 plus 4, 8 plus 4, 12, right? So there are 12 numbers before 28 that are co-prime with 28. This is called what? This is called this is called as Euler number only, right? This is called Euler number now. If you calculate Euler of 28 directly, I can calculate what is Euler of 28. So 28 has got two prime factor, 2 and 7, right? So 28 into 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 7. Right. So you should also uh, exclude this step also, right? Don't write this step directly, you can write. I know 28 has got two prime factors, so write like this, something by 2 and something by 7, directly write like this, right, write directly, okay, something by 2, something by 7, and what is something, just 1, because it is 1 minus 1 by 2, so always this numerator will be 1 less than denominator, always this numerator will be 1 less than denominator, right, if it is 2, it will be 1 here, if it is 7, it will be 6 here, 2 directly, right, always, you are comfortable with the Euler number? So, try to uh, do it fastly also, right? Time is very important in exam. Time is very important in exam, right? So, 28 into half into 6 by 7. What is the answer? You solve, you'll get 12. The Euler number of 28 is what? 12. So, this is 12, right? This is 12. Correct. And these are, and these are those 12 numbers. Okay. Now, you can see it in this case that if I write down all the uh, all the numbers before 28 that are co-prime with 28 in ascending order. This is an ascending order starting from 1, right, ending at where? Ending at 27. These are, this is an ascending order, right. So, you can see it here that 1 plus 27 will give me 28. 3 plus 25 will give me 28. 5 plus 23 will give me 28, 9 plus 19 will give me 28, 11 plus 17 will give me 28, 13 plus 15 will give me 28, right. So, in how many ways we can write 28 as sum of two co-primes? So, in how many ways? In how many ways? 6 ways, right, because there are 12 numbers, so there are, there are 12 numbers, so I can form 6 such pairs, right, I can form 6 such pairs. 1 plus 27, 3 plus 25, 5 plus 23, 9 plus 19, 11 plus 17, and 13 plus 15, right? There are 12 such numbers that can form 6 pairs, right? So, if if we write uh, all the numbers before 28 that are co-prime with 28 in ascending order, sum of first and last, second and second last, third and third last, fourth and fourth last, like this, all are giving the same number as 28, right? So, in how many, there, is, there are 12 numbers, so there, there will be 6 ways, there will be 6 ways, right. So, answer is 6 ways. So, do we, uh, see, do we need to write down all these numbers always, a straight answer is no, you, you should have sensed it by now, right. That, what is 6 here, 6 is what, 6 is half of Euler number, half of, what is the Euler number, 12, that is half of 12, right. So, in how many ways we can write 28 as sum of two co-primes? So, in how many ways we can write 28 as sum of two co-primes? So, any number. So, sum of two co-primes, number of ways, number of ways 
is equal, is half of Euler number. Number of ways of writing a number as sum of two co primes is what is half of Euler number, right? So in next slide we'll do a bit. We'll take a bigger number. Okay. So next question is in how many ways we can write four twenty as sum of two co primes, right? So what is the answer? Simple answer is number of ways is equal to half of the Euler number, right? Number of ways is equal to half of Euler number. So half of Euler number of four twenty, right? What is Euler number of four twenty? You can calculate Euler number of four twenty. Now what is the what are the prime factors of four twenty? So it is forty two into ten. So obviously two and five are there. Forty two means seven and three are there. Right, so two, five, three, and seven. There are four prime factors. So four twenty into one minus one by two into one minus one by three. Or I should directly write right. Okay, let me write this. But you should you should not write this step. You should directly write this step. What is the value of four twenty? So four twenty means now for two you should write one here. Right. For three you should write two here. For five, you should write four here, and for seven, you should write six here. Right? Simply one less than denominator. Directly write the result. So you learn, you learn, you learn number of four twenty. Directly write this step. Okay, directly write this step. Save your time. Don't write this step. Don't write this step. Okay. So just prime factors are two, three, five, and seven. So what are numerators? Always one less than that. So one by two, two by three, four by five, six by seven. Right? What is the answer here? We can solve it. So you'll get answer as. Uh, two into two four into four sixteen is a ninety six. So ninety six, right? So Euler number of four twenty is ninety six. That means what is the answer for our question? Half of the Euler number, right? So half of ninety six. What is the answer? Forty eight. Forty eight is answer, right? In how many ways four twenty can be written as sum of two co primes? Answer is what? Answer is forty eight. Correct. And I right now obviously right. If you remember again. Uh, previous videos of factors, I had discussed about the concept of ordered and unordered variables. I had discussed the concept of ordered and unordered, right? Now this is what this is unordered. I told you, right? If variables are not given, that means unordered solution. What is odd unordered solution? A comma B and B comma A won't matter. Only counted as one. What is ordered solution? A comma B and B comma A are two different solutions, right? So same same question I can ask. Find. Number of solutions, solutions of a plus b is equal to four twenty, where a b are co prime with each other, co prime with each other. Now this is absolutely same question, right? But there is a huge difference because answer will be different. The difference here is. Variables in this question. In this question, variables are given. Variables given. That means I have to find ordered solution. Right. This question in how many ways? That means variables are not given. So variables not given. That means I have to find unordered solution. Unordered solution. This way it was correct. Right, this would be correct. Forty is the answer. In this case, right. In this case, what would be the answer? In this case, the answer would be what ninety six. Why? Because again, funda is same. A and B has to be co prime, so I need to find the Euler number of four twenty. So Euler number of four twenty, we found it as ninety six, and I know that there are forty eight ways. Ninety six means there are forty eight forty eight ways of writing four twenty as sum of two co primes, right? But in a plus b is equal to four twenty, if I write down all the ways like one plus four one nine is one way, correct? Then uh, seven plus four one three is another way. No, seven and four one three not co-prime with each other. Okay, so if we move like this, so after we don't need to write it right, but we can okay for just for just for understanding we can do. So eleven and four zero nine are like co prime, like this, huh? Then thirteen and four zero seven are co prime. 
like this. There are only 48 ways, like there's only 48 ways. So in ordered solution, A comma B is equal to 1 comma 419. Okay, in ordered solution, A comma B is 1 comma 419. It's counted as one solution. Also, A comma B can also be equal to 419 comma 1. This is another solution, right? This is what meaning of ordered. A comma B and B comma A are different, right? So A can take one, B can take four one nine. In the other case, A can take four one nine and B can take one. So every way will have two solutions in order. Every way will have two solutions in order, right? So what is the answer? So answer for this will be how much? So answer for this will be forty eight ways into two. For every way there are two solutions. Because there are 96 solutions for this question. 96 solutions are the answer. Right. So, difference between uh, ordered and unordered. Okay. Yeah, everybody's clear now? Right. Okay. Let's move to next concept. Okay. So, the next question is in how many ways? 840 can be written as a product of two co-primes, right? The last concept was for sum of two co-primes. Now it is for product of two co-primes, right? Okay. So for product of two co-primes, right, this is a fabulous idea, right? Fabulous idea. And you can derive a formula here. Let me explain the concept. You can derive a formula. And after that, we can solve any question of this kind within five to seven seconds, right? But get the concept. Don't, don't mug up the formula, right? Get the concept. Okay. Concept is very important, right? Cat is cat, that are not formula based exam examinations, right? So, concept is very important. Now, let's uh, write 840 in terms of prime factors, right? What is prime factors? So, it is now 2 cube into 3 into 5 into 7, right? So, I want to write 840 as A into B, right? A into B is equal to some, a, some 840, where a and B are to be co-prime, right? A and B are co-prime with each other. Co-prime. Okay. So, A and B are co-prime with each other. Now, get this concept now. What is this concept? So, see. Let me make a box of A here. And let me make a box of B here, right? And numbers to be filled here are from 2, Q, 3, 5 and 7, right? So, A into B should result in this, this number, right? A into B should be this one, right? Like, what I can do? In A, I can put 2 cube into 3, B can be 5 into 7, right? This is one way, okay? Another way will be what? I can put 2 square into 3 and here, so I've out of 3 powers, I have taken 2 powers here of 2, right? So, 1 power of 2 is left, so 2 into 5 into 7. But, but, this will not be co-prime, but right, this will not be co-prime, huh? Why? Because 2 here also in A and B, in A and B, 2 is common. 2 is common, right? That means what? That simply means that I cannot split powers of 2 or any number, right? I cannot split. Suppose it was power of 3 was 3 here. So, I cannot do like, I can put 3 square here and 3 here because 3 square and 3 are, will have 3 in common. They are not co-prime with each other, right? They are not co-prime with each other. Okay. So, I should not split the powers. I should not split the powers, right? Then how to go about it? If not, if I, if I, if power is not to be splitted, how to go about it, right? So, what we can think is, we have two cube. Okay. Now, this two, if I don't have to split the powers of two cube, so two cube can go in either this box or in this box, right? So, 2 cube can be put in these two boxes in two ways. In two ways, right? Similarly, 3. 3 can either go in this, this box or in this box. 3 can also go in two ways, right? 5. 5 can also go in two ways, either this box or this box, two ways, right? And 7 can also go in these two boxes, right? Either of this or of this, so two ways. So, total 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, total 16 possibilities I can form. Total 16 possibilities I can form, right? There are 16 ways, right? But 
Just think about it. In those 16 ways, now since it is how many rates, it is written here in how many ways. In how many ways means what? It is unordered solution. It is unordered solution. So in unordered solution, A comma B and B comma A are not different, right? So when I have taken all the possibilities like 2 cube can be in this box or this box, 3 can be in this box or this box, 5 can be in this box or this box or 7 can be in this box or this box, right? So we have taken all the possibilities. So all the 16 possibilities can be there, right? But there will be one case like here in box 1, 2 cube into 3 is there and in box 2, 5 into 7 is there. Another possibility out of the 16 possibilities, one possibility will be this also. In box 1, 5 into 7 and in box 2, 2 cube into 3. Right. I hope you are getting it. Right. If you are not getting it, please watch my fundamental principle of counting video. Right. Please watch fundamental principle of counting video. Right. That is very important. How to count short, how to count uh, in terms of factorials and uh, NCR combinations. Right. That's been very beautifully there. Please watch that video. Okay. But there is nothing as such. You will not get here. Right. Simple. It is some simple combination. Right. I will give you one more example. Let's say. If I ask you how many two-digit numbers are there, right? How many two-digit numbers are there? So I know that 10 to 99. There are 90 two-digit numbers there. Simple, I am explaining this concept. If I ask you how many two-digit two two digit numbers are there? So how many two-digit numbers are there in mathematics? So 10 to 99, 90 numbers are there, right? How do we do in, in terms of places, in terms of counting? So two-digit number, I make two places, okay? Or I can make two boxes. Two, let me make two boxes like here. Like this, I can make two boxes. In first box, I can put any digit from 1 to 9. So I have 9 options of putting, right? 9 options. Because I can't put 0 here, because 0 will make it on only one digit number. I want two digit number, right? So from first, in first box, I can put any number from 1 to 9. In second box, I can put any number from 0 to 9. Right? So 0 to 9, how, this is 0 to 9, how many possibilities? 10. So 9 into 10, total 90. Right, this is 90, these two are same only, right? So how many two-digit numbers are there? Two-digit numbers are there, 90 numbers. First place, 9 options. Second place, 10 options, like that. Same fund is here also, right? So I have the numbers here, 2 cube, 3, 5 and 7, right? So in how many ways I can put these four numbers in these two boxes, right? So for 2 cube, since I cannot split the power, so 2 cube will go in either this box or this box two ways. 3 will also go in either this box or this box two ways. 5 will also go in either this box or this box two ways. And 7, or 7 will also will go in either this box or this box two ways, right? So total 16 possibilities. But, but out of this, this is similar case, right? 2 cube into 3, box 1 and 5 into 7, box 2. Or it's reverse. 5 into 7 in box 1 and 2 cube into 3, right? Like here. Here we'll have, if I'm taking all the possibilities of 1 to 9 and 0 to 9, I will have one case of like, with numbers being same here, right, 11. Right, 1 and 1 are included, huh? Obviously, when I'm finding all the two-digit numbers, so 11 will be there. So numbers like 11, yeah, numbers like 22, or numbers like 33. So this same cases will be there, right? But in this case, I don't have to eliminate because I'm searching for the two-digit numbers. But in this case, I'm finding unordered solutions. So unordered solutions, A comma B and B comma A doesn't matter, right? They're only counted as one. So will 2 cube into 3 is one case and 5 into 7 is one case, right? And it's reverse also another case, right? So the, here it is counted as two possibilities, but it is only one. Likewise, other, other case also. In one case, here will be 2 cube into 5. And other case will be like 3 into 7. And it's one case, other case will be 3 into 7 here and 2 cube into 5 in this box, right? That means every two case, it will be counted as one case in unordered solution, right? In unordered solution. So again, these two cases are not different, these are same only, right? A into B or B into A in unordered solution is counted as one only, right? Please get this concept, right? It's a beautiful concept. So here, total 16 possibilities are there. That means for every two possibilities, there's only one possibility, right? So total, what is the answer? 16 by 2, 8. So 8 is the answer, right? 8 is the answer for this question. That's it, right? And we will we'll derive a formula now, right? But get this concept, right? That 16 by 2 is 8. Why 8? Because for every two case, only one case is counted here, right? Here also, because when you're counting, 
identical cases will come. Obviously, it will come, right? One to nine and zero to nine, one exists in both the cases. Here also, when I am putting four numbers, so I have taken all the possibilities. So two cube into three will be one case. Five into ten will be another case. It reverse will also come here, right? So for every two case, there is only one case. So for there are sixteen possibilities, there are only eight possibilities, right? There are only eight possibilities, right? Okay. So see, we can derive a formula here now. See how the formula will look like. When a number, if a number is to be written as a product of two co-primes, as a product of two co-primes, right? So it will always be like a into b is here, and two boxes. This box for a, this box for b. It doesn't matter how many numbers are here, right? Each will have two options. Two options, right? So if one number is there, two options. If two numbers are there, another two options. If three numbers are there, another another two options, right? If four numbers are there, another two options, like this. In this case, there are four numbers. There are four options. And always divide by two, because the cases will be what identical, right? So for like this, for n numbers, let's say there are n numbers here. So for like four numbers, two into two into two into two raised to four. So for like for four numbers, it is two raised to four by two. Okay. So I can similarly similarly write that for n numbers, that for n numbers, it will be always like what? Okay. Let me write here only. So for n numbers, it will be always like what? Two into two into two n times divided by two. That is two raised to n by two. This is the general formula for n numbers. Right? What are n numbers here? N numbers are number of prime factors. Because power won't matter, right? And because why? Why power won't matter? Power won't matter because in if I split power in two boxes, that is for a and for b. If I split power, like suppose if I split two cube as two is square here and two here. Both will have two common. Whereas what I want, I want these to be what co primes. That means I cannot split power, right? So in this case, in this co in this concept, power doesn't matter. Power absolutely doesn't matter, right? Similarly, two to two raised to n times. Sorry, two to two multiplied by n times. So it is it is two raised to n. Okay, divided by two. Why divided by two? Because Every two cases will be counted as one case, right? For unordered solution, for unordered solution, obviously for ordered, we will not divide by two. Okay, so what is the answer in this case? So answer, what is general formula here? General formula is, if a number can be written as a product of two co-primes, that number is what two raised to n by two. Two raised to n by two means what? That is two raised to n minus one. Two raised to n minus one. Where what is n? N is Number of n is number of prime factors. N is number of prime factors. That's the whole concept, right? To number of ways a number can be written as a product of two co-primes is equal to two raised to n minus one. If n is prime factors, if n is number of prime factors, obviously for unordered solution. Unordered solution. Correct. Okay. So for ordered solution, what is the answer? Right. And move to next slide. Okay. So number of ways of writing a number as product of two co-primes. Two co-primes. Okay. Two co-primes. First one is what? First one is unordered. So unordered. If solution is solution is unordered, what is the answer? Answer is simply two raised to n by two. That is two raised to n minus one, where n is number of prime factors. Right. Power no. Power is not important. Right. Only n is number of prime factors. Second is what? Second is ordered. For ordered solution. We don't need to divide by two, right? So simply, what is the answer? Two raised to n. N is same. N is number of prime factors. Okay. So for ordered, it, it, it is two raised to n. For unordered, it is two raised to n minus one. Right. For ordered, we don't need to divide by two. Okay. Why we don't need to divide by two? Right. You did in last uh, slide only. Because dividing by two because a and b and b and a are not different in unordered, right? So for every two case, I was counting one case, right? So that's why divided by two in unordered. In if it is ordered, that two case will be counted different. Okay. 
So it is ordered. Order is what? Two raised to n, right? So uh, let me do a question here. Find number of solutions of a into b is equal to 3600 where a and b are positive integers and a and b are co-prime co-prime with each other so now in this case in this case see in this case variables are given variables are given that means what it is a case of ordered solution variable given means what ordered solution okay it is the case of ordered solution fine what is the case of ordered solution here so that means what is the answer answer is for ordered what is the answer for ordered the simple answer is what the answer is 2 raised to where n is number of prime factors, right? What are number of prime factors here? In this case, number of 3600. How many prime factors? So obviously, 2, 3, and 5. Only 3 prime factors, right? So how many ways? 2 cube, that is 8. So 8 is the answer. 8 solution for, solution for this question, right? If the question, if the same question, if the same question is for unordered, is for unordered in the, what is the answer in this case answer will be what answer will be 2 raised to n by 2 that is 2 raised to n minus 1 that is 2 raised to 3 minus 1 that is 2 square that is 4 so in that case answer will be what 4 why because unordered means every two cases a comma b and b comma a is equal to one case only right so every two cases is equal to one case it is for unordered right Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Very important concepts, right? Thank you.